So even if I'm getting to the junction at times, I try to slow down and look. But jammers, they don't do that. Once this road is a poor part, men, they keep their throttle and they keep firing. If you like, if you're coming out of the road and you did not look, they will jam you and you pay. Your insurance will pay. No matter how much Welcome back again to my YouTube channel, Evermom Gist TV. So, today is all about German culture shock. Disclaimer, this video is not to bring any country down, but this is just my personal experience as a Nigerian mom of four living in Germany. I want to share with you, so let me see your thoughts about this video and let me see your own shock in your own country so to all my viewers i appreciate you all you're welcome so let me start i have a lot and a lot of german shock if time permit i might finish all but if not i will end this video i don't want the video to be so so long so number one uh, i noticed is eating while walking on the street so guys guys do you know a lot of Germans eat on the street while walking. Yes, obviously, I was shocked because in my country, in my own land, in Igbo land where I come from, when you see an adult eating on the street, uh, people look at you as irresponsible person because they were like, the food is not running away. Why can't you wait until you get home, you'll be able to eat it. But here, it's not a crime Ev almost everybody you know do that here in germany so they eat especially you see them eating bread and they will keep you know walking and they are always in a hurry because of our bite their work okay some will tell you that they don't have time to sit at home to eat a lot of people i've seen a man that said he finally he find it difficult to sit at home to eat he always enjoy eating while walking so that is a shock to me seeing grandmas seeing grandpas eating while walking on the street so that is a very sh big shock to me so the next one is a uh, sunday's shops are closed when i mean shops are closed sunday shops are closed in germany so if you forget to get yourself even salt you know that is a common thing but if you forget salt, that means you are not going to cook for the whole of that Sunday. For those of you that like cooking on Sunday. So all the shops, all supermarkets are closed on Sundays. Okay. So it's a very big shock because in my country, even if the market closed, all these uh, stores always open. So you can easily dash in to get yourself anything you did not buy on Saturday. So that one is another shock to me so sundays are meant for resting so here in germany sundays are very very sorry so sundays are very very quiet just as usual but a lot of people are at home you know enjoying their house or their home because many works monday to saturday they don't even have time to enjoy their home the apartment which they pay every month so that is another shock so coming to the next one is crosswalk is a crosswalk oh yes so uh, when you're crossing here in germany you walk majestically as long as this green light is on for the uh, pedestrians okay so you walk and uh, but in my country you must run guys <laughs> you must run to cross the road if you don't run if Okada did not come from the left, Kekemara will come from the right. So you always <laughs> run when you want to cross the road. So your first time of coming to Europe, so just chill down. If you <laughs> Don't be in a hurry to cross the road. Once the green light is, just walk majestically. I know even some of us is still in our blood. Even though the traffic light is uh, red, as in the, for the pedestrian is green, they will still run. It has always been in the blood. 
<laughs> stream. So that is one thing I find in Germany. You walk on the road. Yeah, the bicycle, you know, people that drive bicycles, they have their lane. People that walk, they have their lane. And the cars, they have their own lane. Come, there's another thing that shocks me. If you are up to 10 years or 11 years here in Germany and you're riding bicycle and you decided to drive this bicycle where the pedestrians walk, you will get a fine because they train them to use the road. If it, right from primary school, they train them how to ride bicycle. And in my country, nothing like that. They don't train you in the school how to ride bicycle. Maybe you decide to do that one. So like many people that were brought up in the rural area, in the rural area, sorry. So many kids that were brought up in rural area, most of them knows how to ride bicycle so like it was a shock to one of our german friends that when he said okay my children they drive bicycle but me i don't know how to ride bicycle but my children all of them ride bicycle because nobody train us in primary school how to ride bicycle and when we travel to the village they said i heard that before you learn how to ride bicycle you might injure so i don't want to injure so i didn't venture and mostly when we travel still like some days and we are back to the city so that is another shock the next one is selecting trashes Hey. so in my country we put everything together the first time i came to germany seeing they're having four west beans as in in my country it's not like that we don't select trashes here in germany every house has four trash beans one for your bio which is food items or just leftover food anything you can for manu we put them in the bio mall the green one and the other one we call rest moon. So the rest moon is all those trashes that they are not needful, both in planting or anything, maybe they burn them or so. We put them in the rest moon. So the next is a papier moon. That is a, another <laughs> trash for only papers, for recycling. So all these cartons, books, uh, you are not using it. You put them in the papier moon. And this papier moon has a blue cover. All these moves, they will stay there. You have it right in your house. So these four are inside your house already. And they big containers for, you know, putting them when they are full in your apartment. You take them to the appropriate trash and put them there. The four are there in, in each house. The four are there. So, like, the next is the, what is it? The yellow sack. That yellow sack is like all this fun flasher that you don't use, all these uh, containers. I told you when you buy anything, I made a video. If you have not watched that video, I will drop the link under this culture shop. If you if you are buying water, you are paying for the empty can. So 95% of uh, empty cans here in Germany, you pay for it. They have that fun okay they cold but five percent they don't have it so those ones that don't have a defined code for selling as in you finish using them you put them in that yellow sack so outside is the yellow trash then you pour them there so these four <laughs> waste beans you have you must select them appropriately if the moon turn out, as in those people, you know, taking those doors, bin comes and they open it and find out that you put paper in a trash bin meant for be your moon, they will not take it. And you will get what? Fine. So everybody is conscious of that. Everybody selects their doors bin here in Germany. So that is another shock for me because in my country, we put everything together. Call it food, or call it bear, everything. <laughs> so everything goes. So that is another shock I found here in Germany and I find it interesting. So another one, Germans follow their rules strictly. Yes, they don't violate, they don't take chances when they see you trying to, you know, violate their laws 
or and they will tell you that the foreigners wants to mark their couture caput. So the most of the foreigners wants to destroy their culture. So when you come to Germany, next is to do policy, know the laws so that there is no ignorance of what violating their laws. But in my country, who said if you like, go to school, if you like, don't go, nobody cares. So what is their own? They don't care. So I was shocked. You come, you go to school, you learn about their cultures and everything. And another thing is when you violate the law, you try to tell a German police or you try to tell their law enforcement agency, I am sorry, please. You are wasting your time. Because now your sorry has no meaning. They will tell you, read the laws. Because when you are being caught violating the laws, they will not take sorry. Are you telling them sorry to let their uh, laws go like that or for you to spoil or destroy or violate their culture? I don't understand. So why are you telling them sorry? So the sorry that you take there is not to repeat that again, but you must be punished. You can't go and punish if you violate any law and you are trying to uh, plead. To a German person, please forgive me. I won't do it again. It won't happen again. Yes, they will tell you, don't allow it to happen again. But you will do what? You get penalty for the ones you violated. So no two ways about that. Saying please, now nah, they don't take sorry. So for you to save that, you're sorry. Keep to their rules. So it was a shock. But in my country, there are things you do. People will beg you, and before you know, they will kneel down, and you see some. They will tamper justice with mercy. Nothing like that exists here. So for you to tell a German please, please, I am sorry. Forgive me. You are wasting your time. So better respect their law. So I find it as shock as in someone begging, crying, forgive me, and there's no forgiveness on that because you must get penalty for what you have done so in my country anything goes they can let go because you knelt down because you cried or because people gathered and say hey, please now forgive her or so you know so that is another shock i found here in germany and let's go again so calling the people's name with no differentiation oh god um, this one shocked me past you see this one in my country, when you see someone that's old enough to be a grandma, in my own village, we will call the person Mama, Ma, you understand? And the man that is old enough to be your grandpa, you call the person Papa or Mpa, whatever. So, and you see someone that's old enough to be a big auntie to you, you call the person Auntie, you call the person Uncle or Brother or whatever. But here in Germany, most of them don't like that Mrs. as in Frau this, Frau that, that is Mrs. this or Mrs. that maybe with your surname or your husband's name. They'll call you Mrs. Uh, uh, Mrs. Chine, do Mrs. this, okay? They, they will tell you, no, don't call me Mrs. this. Call me by my name. See the woman of 65, 70 years. They will tell you, call me by my name. You don't do that in my country so if at times it's heavy in my own mouth to call their names like that because it's not acceptable in my country so it was a very big shock i found it so difficult before i started calling them by their names because i told them i prefer calling them mrs you know their husband name they said no there was a woman a uh, uh, frau wagner <laughs> oh i love that woman so much so this woman, I normally call her Frau Wagner. She told me, call me by my name, Ute. Her name is Ute. So, and I will call her Ute and she will answer that name. Even my children, I told them, don't call her Ute. Call her Frau Wagner. And when the children try to call her Frau Wagner, she will tell them, no, 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 no. My name is, my name is Ute. Okay. And the children, even my little cousin will call her Ute. She'll say, yeah, yeah. It, it was a shock you don't do that like my baby my little girl supposed to be calling her mama something like that in my own country so you see it was a shock so that is another one and let's go over to the next one is this driving hey <laughs> Another one is driving. Guys, in Nigeria, if you are driving and you are driving straight, 
if you are getting to any junction you will slow down and you take your left and right if not keke marwa from nowhere will just bust out and before you know it collision of what vehicles and accidents will just occur so if you are driving like if i'm driving in nigeria if i'm getting to any junction i must slow down to look left and right before i continue to fire on but here in germany if you are driving eh, especially when you are doing your driving license and you are, you are a nigerian and you are getting to a junction and you want to stop they will ask you Varum, why are you stopping you try to say yes you are in the four they will tell you you are your four fat keep firing with your speed limit you know some road are 50 okay some 30 all these little streets is 30 some there is no speed you just allow the vehicle to be going but in my country nothing like that every where they will fire where the children are playing they don't care you'll be the one to run okay but here if you are driving at times i still have this shock in me although you are on a four fat this is four fat as in you are on your right lane when this any vehicle coming out they will see their sign that they have to stop this is a a right track for people maybe coming straight so even if i'm getting to the junction at times i try to slow down and look but jammers they don't do that once this road is a four fat men they keep their throttle and they keep firing if you like if you're coming out of the road and you did not look they will jam you and you pay your insurance will pay because once they come who is right and who is wrong they don't even care if he's supposed to slow down for you because he is what in the, because of what they are on their own right lane okay so you will be the one your insurance is going to pay for the damages done on their car so that is another shock so if you are a nigerian driver and you are coming to germany of course you have to redo your driving license so it's only in germany that i find it shock you can be driving once you're in your lane without minding orders my country you must drive your own and drive other people's own for your life to be what safe so the list i have here not the last but i think uh, i have to stop on this one germans are not in a haste guys when you are in the supermarket they are just counting and you forgot something and you go back to go and pick that in everybody the queue will be there waiting for you go and get it nobody will talk and but in my country ah everybody on that queue will finish you madam you're not serious does it mean we have to wait for you here? You keep going. Everybody will keep quiet and keep waiting until they finish and you pack your things and go. Even when they, they are done with you, you are taking your items gently. Nobody will talk. Even the cashier will not tell you, madam, be fast. Nobody will talk to you until you just do sluggishly and you move. That is maybe within them it pains them, but you cannot talk. Okay? And another thing, when you go to doctor, hmm, all these old <laughs> all these armors all these old mamas and papas they entered before you forget everything you are going to do that because they will take their time and they will talk and they saw you like what are they doing like me if you enter to my if i go to my doctor within some minutes i'm done i just i have a headache i have this this that this i'm finished i'm out and if they want i need medication they will write the medication and stuff then i move but if Germans enter there before you, they will finish what they say. They will talk about their dogs. They will talk about their pussy cats. They will be talking something that is not even about their hair, but their own maybe something that they feel that gives them joy or something that makes them angry for that. They will, and the doctor will do what? Give them attention and keep listening. Nobody say, hey, madam, it's okay. Just go. Others are waiting. They will not. No, nobody will hurry them to leave. Oh until they are done and say okay our videos in chose you see them they move but in my country somebody will come and knock the ah doctor i will uh, please let the person be fast what are you doing there eh? <laughs> are you giving birth like that and doctor will tell you please be fast because other patients are waiting for me i need to attend to them you see that so i have a lot of german shocks uh, that i cannot finish today anyway in case today is your first time of coming across this pretty face or today is your first time of coming across my channel please click on that red subscribe button and subscribe 
and don't forget to turn on your notification bell for more videos so that whenever i upload a new video here in this channel you'll be among the first to watch so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you do don't forget to write your comments under the comment section and if you have anything you still want me to talk about please don't hesitate to write to me under the comment section of my instagram account evermom gist tv okay or you follow me on my page on facebook evermom gist tv so god bless every one of you so that is my culture shock about germany so see you in my next so guys don't forget to share my videos always share my video give it a thumbs up till i come your way next time love you guys bye bye